We are here in Josh Gottheimer's office, Congressman Gottheimer, just teach you a little bit about what the Congressman has been up to in his crusade against the Palestinians. Very recently, a report came out that Congressman Gottheimer has been actually challenging some high school students in Teaneck, New Jersey, their advocacy for Palestine. He's been going after them relentlessly in the past couple of months. First off, he organized a Title VI complaint against them, which he got a bunch of lawyers to come together to make a formal Title VI complaint to the Department of Education in order to target these high school students who organized an innocent pro-Palestinian protest within their high school. As part of this, the school district responded by inviting a Muslim civil rights org as well as a Jewish civil rights org, the Muslim civil rights org CARE, Gottheimer accused them of uh, glorifying terrorism, and above that, he also shared a lot of anti-Muslim conspiracy theories on his campaign trail. One of his controversies in a uh, congressional briefing, he was heard saying that the Muslims should quote, feel guilty about what Hamas did. That is all Muslims, apparently. Not to mention that Gottheimer has been very uh, vicious in his attacks on um, people in Palestine, people in Gaza. And he's also been vicious in these very halls of Congress. Uh, there is a story uh, that's been confirmed that's come out about him um, in Ryan Grimm's book about the squad where uh, Rashida Tlaib, the only Palestinian American member of Congress, um, reports that Gottheimer confronted her in the halls with a binder of anti-Semitic remarks that she's made throughout her career, supposedly, her and Ilhan Omar. He bullied her, and he made her feel incredibly uncomfortable. Congressman Gottheimer, I think to yourself, why does he have such a vicious rhetoric towards the Palestinians, both experiencing genocide in Gaza, as well as our only Palestinian American member? Well, throughout his career so far, he has gotten over $1.5 million from pro-Israel lobby groups, including APAC. For this Congressman, it's enough to drop all these other projects and focus on targeting high school students in his district. Shame. 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 Shame.